Hi Capricorn, welcome in. Capricorn, be sure to only take the messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. I'm going to take a look at your next seven days. I'll start by pulling you some general messages and then I will take a look at your love life. If the reading resonates or if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to hit the like button and feel free to leave me a comment down below. During your pre-shuffle in meditation, Capricorn, I did pick up on someone wanting to reconcile with you. It feels incredibly difficult for this person to come forward. This person wanting to reconcile with you is going to have some sort of meeting with a stranger, somebody they do not know. And there's something this person says to them that instantly calls their soul back to you. It instantly makes them reminisce about you. It instantly makes them want to come back towards you. Um, so that I, I was picking up on that. Let's see. Important messages for Capricorn, please. We have clouds. It says temporary problem. So there's an issue you're facing and Spirit's saying it's only temporary. You see how that sun's coming out in this card? Then we have bell announcement. Everybody is getting this card today. You are the third reading that I've done today and they've gotten this announcement card. So you could have Scorpio or Sagittarius in your chart, or you could be dealing with one. If you are, definitely go watch those. Uh, but there's some type of announcement coming in. Could be a notification you receive from this person wanting to reconcile. Then we have Spear. Heartache over what you no longer have. Flute. Disappointment in a friend or a lover. Capricorn, somebody disappointed you. It could be a friend, it could be a lover, and they're wanting to reconcile with you. I feel like a lot of you guys, it could feel like there has been a spear driven right through your heart here. You're, you're experiencing a heartache. Anything else for Capricorn? We have Caterpillar. It says things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Claw, be careful, do not take risks. If you're thinking about taking a risk right now, Spirit says you're not in the place. So uh, sit down, Capra, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so uh, definitely like just take heed to that warning. Uh, do not take any sort of risk the next seven days. Uh, I feel like you're still undergoing some type of transformation and you're just not in the position yet to take this risk. Not saying you'll never be in the position, just this week it's not a good time. Tell me more. We have pale. It says time to get out of a situation. Someone new is entering your life. Climbing towards success. Bag. Something important such as a new job. If you're wanting to leave a job, Spirit says do not leave this job until you have something lined up. Okay. Um, most definitely. But I feel like there is a lot of you guys right now wanting to get yourself out of a situation. And it is time to get yourself out of this situation. But that could just as easily mean get your ducks in order. It's not the time to take risks, okay? But if you're wanting to get out of a situation and you do have all your ducks in order, that would not be a risk, correct? Um, so don't do anything impulsive this week. However, this is a time to get your ducks in order to explore your options. I feel like whatever this new thing entering your life is, again, could be a person. Um, they're going to be very beneficial to your career. Okay, somebody is going to be very beneficial, very supportive to your climb to success, to reaching success. Anything else for Capricorn? Okay, you have... Bird flying, news is on the way. Lily, spiritual love. Those of you that are in a spiritual connection, that's what's on its way. Okay, there's somebody here wanting to reconcile with you. You may want this reconciliation, you may not. Either way, I feel like it's coming in, okay? Um, what you choose to do with that is up to you. Now, news is on the way also. This could be important information coming towards you in regards to your success in the workplace. Okay. So those of you that are looking for new opportunities, new ob job opportunities, I do see that news is in the works. That news is on the way for you. Let's get you an angel number. Yes, Capricorn. Okay. 
So you have angel number 12. The affirmation is, I am a visionary. Creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. So you're a visionary. I also feel like whatever you're visualizing, you're manifesting. Give me another angel number for Capricorn, please. Angel number 14, I am practical. So just be practical as well. It says, you are open-minded and always up to try something new, yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. This is pragmatic. This is, this, sorry, this pragmatic approach helps ensure your time, attention, and efforts will be meaningful. So bottom of the deck, number eight, this is, I am successful. Um, Yes, you are open-minded and always up to try something new, yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. This pragmatic approach helps ensure your time, attention, and efforts are meaningful. So you're a visionary, okay? And I feel like uh, putting intention into things is very important, right? What are your intentions? But be practical, right? Think things through. Let's take a look at your love life. Let's see. Messages for Capricorn when it comes to love. Messages for Capricorn. Deception. It says someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So someone's not true. Someone's not being true, okay, to who they are. Someone could be hiding feelings from you. Give me another card for that. Okay, it says, it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give, receive the highest energy of all. Bottom of the deck, we have reconciliation. There's somebody here who wants you to open yourself up to them, but they're deceptive. Because this card, it says, it is safe for you to love. Deception was the first card out. So this to me feels like there's somebody around you, Capricorn, that is wearing a false self mask. They're not really who they say they are. They're not really discussing their feelings for you. Um, they want you to believe it's safe for you to open yourself back up to them, but I want you to be very cautious with that. Uh, it says this reconciliation is happening. Somebody from your past is returning and they're going to want you to trust them. The only red flag here I see is there's some deception, right? That's a big red flag. You've spotted something inside this person that didn't sit right with you. A lot of you guys are in the process of moving on from somebody or you have already moved on from them. And they're wanting to swing right back around into your energy here. Spirit says, trust your intuition, your inner guidance, queen of pentacles. I see you guys have been working on yourself and you're attracting this, you're attracting this energy back to you since you've been working on yourself. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles. This is your energy. Yeah, Eight of Wands. They want to communicate with you. I feel like there hasn't been much communication. There could have been absolutely no communication for some of you guys, but it's telling me this Queen of Pentacles is has been moving forward, has been moving on. I feel like a lot of you guys have been healing from something. And here comes somebody that wants to speak with you. And it's whoever you've been trying to get over, whoever you've been trying to move on from. This King of Cups. Why the King of Cups? Okay, somebody who was non, somebody who you waited for. They were non-committal. Okay, they're wanting to heal the relationship with you. They're wanting to show you how they feel, but they were non-committal at first. King of Wands. Very arrogant, stubborn. Uh, they lacked vulnerability and non-committal. Like I said, and I feel like a lot of you guys, this person may have expected you to wait around for them. And so now they're coming forward thinking you've been waiting for them or that you will wait for them when they come around. In the present moment, they're wanting to show emotion. The star, the king of cups, they're wanting to show vulnerability here. 
advice on that for Capricorn. I gotta say, intuitively, I'm picking up on a caution here. Advice for Capricorn? Two of Pentacles. When in doubt, we have the devil at the bottom of the deck. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to doubt this person being authentic. You're going to doubt, you're going to, you, you will be doubting them. And I feel like you should trust that. Trust your intuition. There's still some sort of de devil energy surrounding this person. There's still someone here who, I, I feel like they're more so fixated in having you in their life, but it still seems to me like they're juggling. They're not prioritizing things. There's still that dark, there's still that heavy, dark energy surrounding them. That deception is still surrounding them. Three of Swords could be even a third party that's still involved here. If it's not a third party, it's just they're still doing the same heartbreaking things that, you know, you did not like them doing, right? Whatever they were doing to you, it's still there. Those same intentions are still there, okay? The non-committal. Uh, five of Wands, I feel like this person coming towards you, it may bring some drama towards you here. The Hierophants. Why is this Hierophant here? King of Wands. They have their sights on you. Like, this is somebody that definitely wants you to commit to them, but they also want to keep their options open. They're, they're not ready to quit juggling, guys, is what it's telling me. But they miss you, the world. They're not ready to end other situations, but they want to be around you. Yeah, look, the sun. They know that you're, you're, you are where they're happiest, but I just feel like this person has a hard time committing. They have a hard time committing to you. Ace of Wands, they're attracted to you. Nine of Wands, Three of Cups. This is somebody who wants to reconcile with you. They miss your energy. They miss your energy. The only problem I have is they're still non-committal. They're still deceptive. They're still wearing a false mask, okay? This is somebody that definitely will keep you waiting. And they're definitely going to stunt your growth, okay? I hate, I hate to say it. I don't mean to be negative, but I just want to give you that warning, Capricorn. It just feels to me like there's somebody here that wants you to be all in without them being all in and they have an excuse with the two of pentacles the devil there's excuses here as to why they can't and i just feel like the situation is going to um stunt your growth okay possibly even prolong your healing if you keep dealing with them let's see what the lover's oracle says it says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating new op opportunities and possibilities for your life. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So the universe is wanting to give you a new opportunity here. Okay, but it's up to you to successfully complete this cycle, successfully end this cycle. And I feel like, you know, if you want any sort of like tips, Spirit is saying lay in a room by yourself and imagine all these unwanted thoughts, all of this hurt dissolving into a light. And then imagine new opportunities coming into your life, new possibilities coming into your life. Bottom of the deck, it says emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your per perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So make sure you're not, you're, make, make sure that, you know, you don't have any sort of like wishful thinking towards somebody here. I gotta tell you, somebody wants you to give them another chance. That's most definitely what this is about. There is a reconciliation coming in, but spirit wants you to not have a distorted perception or clouded vision on this person's intentions. Because I really feel like this person is, they're not only confusing to you, I feel like they actually confuse themselves. They don't necessarily know what they want. They're very indecisive. A part of them wants to commit to you. They see happiness with you, but another part of them wants to stay stagnant and stale where they're at. 
two of swords. This is definitely a difficult decision that they could be avoiding making. This is avoidant behavior. They're avoiding responsibility, but they still want to come back towards you. All right, Capricorn, those are your messages. Bye.